It's truly a waste of space. Tentacruel, nobody cares. Flareon. I ain't never had Flareon before. I know I had me a Flareon emblem before. Yeah, I got a gold one, so what the hell do they mean new? Unless, I'm, unless they mean I never had a bronze one before. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, now they give me a rank protection card when I don't need it. Because I, I know I'm a still hit master. It's the bullshit in between that, then and now that pisses me off. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go mid. I'm gonna go mid. X speed, health. Should I stick with my health page or should I go the assassin route? Because I can just use my test page to help me move around a little bit. this speed I want to use trick room knowing that he has a smoke screen but that's not trick room ain't enough for me to give up shadow sneak More people on their team had some slowdowns. I'll probably invest in Trick Room, but, but Shadow Sneak is too helpful. Oh, I test which want me to test out trick room I mean I, I I used it already it's only good if, if I'm going against teams that got slowdowns on it like that, that's completely situational itself is literally completely situational I can't really I'm thinking that was somebody on the other enemy team. I was like, Hell no, you ain't getting this far. You know what I mean? Bam. Mm, 
Shadow Sneak. I'm not even going to risk it. And damn, what the hell? Attack! No, I meant like test page emblem. Oh, okay. I don't know, like, I think I'm using the test page in those. Damn, they got it. Whoa, what the hell? I don't know what the hell that was. It went all the way outside the arena. Nothing else supposed to hit me while I'm on that, dude. Unless they change that from the test server, that was only supposed to be between me and him. Should have made it like that. Haven't seen you much, but you did enjoy the the, the M2 meta, like the rest of. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm waiting till um. Uh, Pugs, I'm waiting for November 14th. Um, I'm trying to see if uh, TikTok is going to unban my ADS Play 101 account. Because they banned it for something that they shouldn't have banned it for. And instead of them reversing the decision, they're basically making me wait for the strikes to fall off. And even then, it's still up in the air if they're actually going to give me the account back. But if they do, it's like a whole other battle I got to do to get my videos back. So I don't know, we'll see. But the week of November 14th, that's gonna be the telltale week. That's gonna be the telltale week to know if we uh back in action. I'm kinda of just substituting Twitch and YouTube for what I was doing on TikTok. And I already had so many eyes on me waiting to watch me play Pokemon Unite that they don't want to come to other platforms to see me. So it's kind of like, it's, 
it's, it's an uphill battle. No, they, why, why are you trying to fight for it? Dude, get to the mid. They're clearly trying to distract. Oh, damn, dude. I wish it was something that I could do to take off that fucking screen pop-up for that damn like this cuz i can't see shit Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up getting it back eventually. It's just when a company like TikTok makes a mistake like that, you know, I even like I even message them back their own guidelines that they sent me saying I violated. So here's the skinny. Back in 2021, I uploaded several videos of a versus series between. Um, Super Sentai's and Power Rangers. It was like a kind of like a versus thing I had going on. It was for comparison and review and like historical context for people who didn't know about Super Sentai's and how Power Rangers got started, etc. Six of those videos in 2023. I uploaded those videos July 2021. The week, uh, matter of fact, I think it was on August 17, 2023 literally like over two years since then they they hit several they hit six videos with three separate copyright strikes um and i've been trying to go back and forth with them to get the account back ever since they never um did a human review of it like no human person reviewed the videos before they it, it was basically like somebody just copyright claimed the video they just pushed the copyright claim through and then banned the account and it got hit with three strikes at once so i'm just like nobody actually looked at the video and every time i messaged them they sent me a message back saying that, that the reason the account was banned was because of ip violation and i was just like how did i violate any ip and then they sent me a link to their uh, to their community guidelines, and in their own guidelines, they said if if the content was used for the purpose of review, comparison, parody, you know, etc., then it's not protected under fair use. Meaning that I can use whatever content I want as long as I'm using it for that purpose, which I was. 
comparison and review being the two words that mean something here. So I even went in their guidelines, screenshotted it, circled that paragraph, sent it back to them, and they still sent me back the same goddamn copy-paste response. So it's just like, bro, even in your own guidelines, they're saying that you're wrong. So it's one of them, oh, they pushed something through that they shouldn't have pushed through, and instead of them just reversing it, they just, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to take a certain person with some common sense from TikTok, because TikTok's support system is like the worst of the worst it's terrible like you can't get no actual person to talk to you there's no phone line you can call or nobody who can you know who you can speak to that can under be understanding like oh we made a mistake let's reverse the decision no they don't have that they have an algorithm that is so biased towards you know and i don't mean no disrespect but the algorithm itself is so biased to like the OF girls, if you know what I'm talking about, the community, and they can do whatever they want. You know, any man bashing, any black bashing on there, you got people doing racist stuff, blackface on there, they don't get banned. None of those aforementioned people get banned. But let me just talk about Pokemon and my live gets suspended for hate speech. I still got the live up on my YouTube. <laughs> It was just a tear maker. They said I was talking about Pokemon and they labeled it as hate speech and they banned my live. So I'm just like, they do little stupid shit like that. So it's an uphill battle with them. But I digress. We'll see.